Are you looking for the best vlogging cameras? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best cameras on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Sony Alpha A7R V. This model replaced Sony's last representative of the Alpha A series, the A7R 4 With the fifth Alpha A7R, Sony raised the bar of quality by bringing in comparably sharper videos, faster shooting speeds, an electronic viewfinder that is nearly twice as strong compared to the last one, and superior high-speed video performance. While nearly all mid-to-high range vlogging cameras have a 3-inch screen, Sony equipped a 7R V with a 3.2-inch fully articulated display. The extra space works in tune with the improved CPU, a perfect blend of performance and visibility. As the first 8K camera on the list, Sony A7R V can make a difference for vloggers that heavily rely on quality visual content. With a whopping 61MP, outstanding ISO sensitivity, versatile flash settings, and support for 8K video resolutions at 24 frames per second, as well as 4K at 60 and HD at 120 frames per second, this is one of the best cameras for vloggers who want to create ultra-vivid clips. For Sony enthusiasts and longtime fans of A7R cameras, there are a couple of similarities between the A7R V and the brand's previous flagships in this line. The same amount, sensor shift IS technology, wireless connectivity, and sensor are all there. There are a couple of downsides aside from the fact that the A7R V costs quite a bit, though. Even though it's fairly petite in size, even smaller than its predecessors, it weighs close to 2 pounds, spelling arm fatigue for the user. I immediately looked past this little flaw as soon as I discovered the active mode. In contrast to its passive counterpart, active image stabilization provided by this mode almost completely eliminates the wiggling effect, compensating for all angular movements across the board. As for the big question, is the Sony Alpha A7 or Mark V truly worth several thousand dollars? In my humble opinion, the unrivaled performance provided by this camera is priceless. Whether you've been creating vlog content for years or just embarked on your first vlogging journey, this camera will help your content stand out by making it as lifelike as digitally possible. Number 2. Canon EOS R6 Mark II. The R6 Mark II replaced the first Canon EOS R6 in November last year and currently represents the EOS R series product line. Sporting improved connectivity, longer battery life, ultra-fast continuous shooting performance, better ventilation, and an upgraded autofocus system, R6 Mark II took the best features of its predecessor and brought them to a new level. For vloggers, it is extremely important to be able to effortlessly and quickly share video content between devices, especially if you're working with a larger editing team. EOS R6 Mark II supports the latest Bluetooth feature, both 2.4 and AMP, 5 GHz Wi-Fi, and multiple USB connectivity types while rocking EOS Utility App and the ability to upload your content directly to the web. Travel vloggers who want to capture as many beautiful objects and landscapes don't have to waste time visiting each landmark in the region they are visiting since Canon's EOS R6 Mark II boasts up to 10x zoom. The biggest advantage R6 Mark II has over EOS R6 is that it can sustain continuous shooting speeds of 40 frames per second, twice as much compared to R6. Its battery lifespan can easily endure up to 760 shots, which is a drastic boon compared to the 510-shot battery life of its predecessor. The first Canon EOS R6 features a 20.1 CMOS sensor while the upgraded Mark II rocks the same sensor but with 24.2 megapixels. Both cameras are capable of taking 4K-60p videos, although R6 Mark II boasts improved ventilation and as such is less prone to overheating. As far as audio is of concern, this camera is outfitted with an inbuilt 16-bit dual-channel stereo microphone and features an external microphone port. If you're constantly on the move while creating content for your vlog, you don't have to worry about tiring your arms while shooting with Canon EOS R6 Mark II from various angles. It weighs less than 1, 3 pounds and is extremely sturdy, boasting a remarkably durable aluminum alloy construction just like most high-end cameras in this review, EOS R6 V boasts a weatherproof body, although it is not waterproof. It may be pricey, but I warmly recommend saving up for Canon EOS R6 II if you're looking for a vlogging camera that will serve you for years. Number 3. Lumix S5 II. In a relatively short period of time, 
Panasonic released for full-frame cameras of outstanding quality. Praised for sharp image and amp, video quality, rapid shooting capabilities, and excellent image stabilization, Lumix S-Series cameras gave vloggers a well-rounded package full of advantages. The Lumix S5 was released in 2020, and it represented this product line until January this year when the newly upgraded S5 II was launched. Many similarities between the original S5 and S5 II are quite apparent. They are both 24MP cameras equipped with a sophisticated CMOS sensor, they both pack the SensorShift IS technology, a 3-inch articulated display, and inbuilt wireless connectivity. The most impactful change in Lumix S5 II is that it is the first S-Series camera capable of capturing 6K video footage, while all previous models are 4K-capable cameras. Aside from a considerable step up in terms of video quality, Lumix S5 II also brings a much stronger 3680K electronic viewfinder and 9 frames per second continuous shooting speeds, up by 2 compared to the S5 camera. I wasn't too thrilled with its burst shot mode, mainly because you can find a much cheaper camera that can do an even better job in this department. What makes Panasonic Lumix GS5 worth the extra cash is that it's unrivaled in its price range when it comes to video quality as one of the most affordable 6K-capable cameras. The first camera that kicked off the Lumix S-Series is Panasonic S1 and one thing that most bloggers disliked about it is its 2-3 pounds of weight. Lumix S5 II is much lighter, weighing only 1.6 pounds, although its predecessor S5 weighs slightly less at 1.5 pounds. Further on that note, the body of Lumix S5 II is fully weather-sealed. Nearly impervious to elemental damage, be it frost, rain, or extremely hot temperatures, you can travel across all four compass points with your S5 II in your pocket, and it will provide you with a reliable performance. In my opinion, the main reason why you should upgrade to Lumix S5 II is its new and stronger CPU, which offers a much smoother experience. Number 4. Sony Cinema Line FX30. If you are searching for a compact, well-rounded camera that doesn't cost a fortune, you are looking for Sony Cinema Line FX30. With more than 20 video shooting modes, a range of supported video resolutions, exceptional in-body IS technology, and a host of editing modes, the FX30 offers a healthy balance of versatility and performance. There are quite a few 6K-capable cameras in this price range, and what sets FX30 apart is its unrivaled autofocus system that ensures each captured pixel is as sharp as possible. For vloggers who mainly specialize in filming wildlife content, the extensive animal subject tracking options will change the way you film. If not, the AF system of Sony Cinema Line FX30 is so advanced that it can be remarkably useful in virtually any scenario. With its sensitivity ranging from ISO 100 to 32,000 for video and between 100 and 6,400 in auto mode, you'll have the freedom to choose how responsive the FX30 is to light. Some of the most notable autofocus options you'll be able to use with this camera are phase detection, multi-area focus, surgically accurate tracking, face detection, live view, and many others. With 759 focus points, it will cover all of your targets, no matter how big of a frame you're looking at. An ideal setting in which Sony Cinema Line FX30 could easily outclass even much more expensive models is recording stills or clips at nighttime. Since its highest sensitivity parameters are off the charts, you can rest assured that your videos will be of the highest quality possible as long as you're not filming in pitch black conditions. Sony Cinema Line FX30 is equipped with a 26MP APS-C BSS EMOS sensor and 5-axis sensor shift in-body image stabilization technologies. Even if your hands are shaking in excitement after finally witnessing a rare event or finding the target you've been tracking for days, the IS system will ensure that the clips you take are as smooth and as stable as possible. Furthermore, it packs a 3-inch fully articulated touchscreen, meaning that navigating through the menus and finding the option you're looking for should be a breeze. Durability-wise, this camera packs a robust chassis made of magnesium alloy materials, which grants it much-needed sturdiness without compromising its portability. Sony Cinema Line FX30 supports a range of videography formats, such as HAPC-S, HAPC-S1, H.264, and H.265. Since many of its key features are commonly found in far more expensive cameras, I'd say it delivers a huge bang for the buck. Number 5. Lumix S1H. Panasonic Lumix S1H is the upgrade most vloggers who like the S1 didn't need to wait long for. 
It was launched merely a couple of months after its predecessor, in 2019, improving video quality, the display, more room for SD cards, an updated sensor, and compatibility with raw data formats. Since both S1 and S1H were released in the same year, there are more than a few things they have in common. Both sport 5-axis image stabilization, 225-point autofocus, 9 frames per second shooting capabilities, and a high-quality electronic viewfinder. As for the differences, S1H is superior in many respects. The tilting display of S1 was replaced with a 180 rotating multi-angle system that is far more convenient to use. Arguably the biggest improvement is S1HS capability to take 6K 24 FPS recordings while it can also capture cinema 4K recordings at 60 frames per second. The Panasonic S1H also replaced the 1XQD card slot with a second slot for SD memory cards. Both Panasonic S1 and S1H rock a 1.3-inch CMOS sensor, although the upgraded version supplied to the S1H is far better for video as it features a low-pass filter. Even though S1H is clearly stronger and more versatile than the camera it replaced, it costs nearly twice as much.